the severe bombing and these things are happening now it's just here actually there is black smoke we can see i don't know how visible it is because of the sunlight okay mahin while you are trying see there is smoke is going on the smoke yeah the smoke is going on there so the bombing is happening over there like still gunshots and uh, which are going on there it's just near me and even there um mahin uh, you certainly show us but uh, i'm just trying to request you to be or uh, like i hope you're on safe side and then only you can uh, like then only yeah, you yeah, can show us oh yes i can hear that so on that day then again i, I had to uh, hide inside the bushes for my safety but after some day after 5 minutes i tried to escape through that way but the soldier this armed person they saw me they took the gun out and they show me like uh, from 100 meter they pointed on me then i had to run away from there with the you know like i was like not breathing at that time i had to run away anyway so i ran away and some uh, some local uh, helped me to escape from that way then Mahi, uh, yeah, i reached my this, so is this sound of bombings that is happening or what no this one like bombing is happening here this sound from this place Uh, can you just show us a bit over there the black smoke that you were showing? I don't know. Now, now there is no bombing. Now the si- sound of uh, bombing can't hear, but gunshot can hear. See, there is smoke going on. It was uh, like bombing uh. now, and behind that building was bombing, and over there, you know, can you see there is black smoke going over there? Yes, I do. So these are all bombing or air strike. The noise that came right now was of gunfire. No, 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 no. There is no sound at all. There is no bombing now. It actually usually happens within minute or five minute. Like it's now, yeah. Now again, start like gunshots. Hmm, like, so it's like not predictable. Well, we all know that how and in which severe way Sudan crisis are going on, and there are several Indians who are stuck right now, and uh, several who are dead. There are several who are injured. there is shortage of food water and several other problems that every person is suffering from there i am now joined by one 22 year old mr mahin s from kerala uh, he is right now stuck in khartoum uh, in sudan area he was he is a he was he is a traveler and he has joined with the new engine uh, he got stuck 3 days before the firing started 3 days before the crisis uh, started and since then uh, it's mahin who is stuck and today on the new engine he speaks exclusively with us uh, he's going to try and show us the real scenario that is right now in fact while i'm speaking and introducing you all uh, uh, to mahin and mahin to you all at that very particular moment in the backdrop i can hear the sh- uh, sound of bomb shelling i can hear uh, some kind of sound of uh, uh, gun fire shots that are happening let's straight away directly get connected to sudan uh, in khartoum it's mr mahin who's joined by me mahin thank you so much for speaking with us uh, it's a very difficult time right now i understand uh, because uh, in fact since yesterday i'm trying to reach out to you you are trying to reach out to me but there is a network problem and somehow uh, we got connected today uh, a very first thing i hope you are fine right now yeah i'm i'm absolutely fine right now but sometimes yeah i'm sick but sometimes i feel so unsafe yeah that's a scenario here actually where are you right now located what is this uh, uh, whole area where you are right now so right now i'm in uh, khartoum khartoum only right now i'm standing in khartoum only city area only uh, but like it's just near 2 uh, 2.5 km from the airport and i believe the airport is the crucial zone where the bombings have happened in a severe way yeah a- airport is one of the crucial uh, place and one another one is presidential palace then military headquarters so these are the main areas like where the big conflict uh, happening and yeah. uh, so what was the first day like uh, when the fight between the two groups happened pehla din to main idhar mein tha main to so raha tha iska baad aisa gunshot ka awaaz aaya is a bombing ka awaaz aaya main darwaza video call ke dekh liya it was like so horrific terrible moment smoke was the whole air was looking so dark like with the black smoke and gunshot were going on even at that time uh, the jet flight were like roaming around the uh, sky so it was a like terrible horrific 
uh, moment for the first time then the first day when like uh, really okay it was okay but the second day third day was like crucial uh, the third day was really crucial the bombing strike the gunshot was like too loud too much even nearby our buildings and i had to go outside like from the second day uh, i i lost my uh, electricity and the water connection in our building so i was suffering without uh, water uh, i was suffering from water scarcity even the food scarcity in the supermarket there was no food because they, they sold everything and they shut down the shop so yeah for the food electricity and water it was a big deal for the last few days but on the eve day like we got our electricity and uh, water supply back but still it's not stable it's uh, going and coming back water is actually like gold here actually nowadays oh you are not getting water so easily is it yeah water is it's so hard so from the last 5 days like i'm just running with like yeah 20 liters of water and I'm, so one day like I, I bought a Pepsi bottle because like the water bottle was too expensive the Pepsi was cheap than that that's why you bought uh, Pepsi yeah. as a substitute to water yeah and uh, uh, how about food how are you managing food food i cook i cook food uh, uh, till before yesterday there was ramalan so for the ramalan these people they join gather around these sudanese people and they invite the all the people you know who are there so i i always you know go and uh, join with them so i eat with them so still you know i'm being inside here in my home so i'm just cooking noodles pasta noodles and pasta is the inexpensive food here the packet food so i buy that and i cook myself that is certainly scary so what are your plans then uh, yeah. with respect to the evacuation or leaving khartoum i uh, i have to defend the indian government so if i wanted to join for the evacuation so i'm hoping for the best but we have a whatsapp official group made by created by indian embassy here so it means they are doing some things for us so what is the plea that you want to do to the indian government so uh, nothing like uh, uh, i hope that like they are doing their best even uh, our respected uh, our prime minister that they were meeting yesterday with the other uh, embassy uh, ambassadors so i hope that they will do something for us uh, but like i'm really worried you know uh, i'm a individual here i don't have any friend or someone here so first day i try to uh, mail them with my all the details so if i got some uh, positive like okay like we will add your name or something like i didn't get any reply so far so it would be nice if i had get any reply i would become like i would feel that you know i am safe there is indian embassy there so they know that i am here so yeah that's all i wanted to say you're pleading for safe evacuation of you and all indians yeah of course of course i'm i'm pleading for yeah safe evacuation because there are a lot of indians they are uh, suffering without any food i can i can just even go out just my room but there are many people they are uh, just sitting at the bunker they are hiding in their room so there are many people they, they don't know what going to happen so yeah i of course request to indian government to take us back for such fine news breaks and video features from ground on your mobile phones don't forget to subscribe to our channel the new indian by clicking on the bell icon also follow us on the social media handles on instagram twitter facebook and coop